ways in which certainly indigenous communities view it, um, there you run into some challenges in reconciling how the principles for responsible investment match what people are seeing on the ground. Uh, one of those might be coal projects. Certainly there's been divestment away from coal um, uh, for alternative sources of energy. Um, and I, I know that there is some concern around that uh, in that China in its own country is starting to go away from coal, but then in Pakistan is actually participating in coal projects. And that has yet to be uh, reconciled properly, how, how that fits in. Also, I know there are a lot of concerns about a nuclear power station that is going up in Karachi. Uh, it's, I, th I think, two years away from completion. And there's many, con certainly Pakistan is a region that has its share of earthquakes. And uh, a nuclear physicist commenting on the situation mentioned that there's no hope in evacuating a city like Karachi. Uh, referring to the Fukushima disaster. So it's, I think there, it's a city of 22 million people. It's a very large city. And that, um, however, when uh, he addresses the government um, or, or, uh, the Chinese, or, um, or the Chinese government around these concerns, then the project is under security and therefore no questions are answered. Th these are the kinds of things that are brought up in this context. I think this is a major challenge for European firms thinking about investing in there and reconciling some of these um, realities. Uh, certainly Italy has gone forward. I believe one of their oil firms, Eni, is uh, operating offshore Karachi, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and one can see how there is incentive for them to participate within the larger Belt and Road Initiative as a result of Contra oil contracts of this nature. Uh, so the concerns that are raised are legitimate. Um, I'm not sure that there are good answers coming from people who organize and run these projects. And I think there's a lot of suspicion over where, how money might be managed, uh, both in terms of how incoming investment and the channels that make sure that communities benefit from it.